Good morning everyone. Today I'm actually at Billy Bishop Airport because I'm going to New York. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah. So after the comprehensive exams, me and my girlfriend decided to book a little trip. We're going to New York City. We are leaving today, which is the 24th, and we are going to be in New York City till the 29th. So it's going to be five days of really, really good fun. I'm super excited to go to New York. I have been there before with my family, but this is the first time I'm going without my parents, so I think it's going to be a little bit more fun this time. So our flight is actually at 8.50 a.m. and right now it's actually 6.40 a.m. We got here really, really early just because I've heard too many horror stories about Pearson International and I thought those horror stories would translate to Billy Bishop as well. But surprisingly, this airport's a lot smaller and there's not a lot of people. And so going through security didn't take a lot of time. We left the condo around 5 a.m. I think and we just walked to Billy Bishop because it's only like a 15 minute walk from the condo. So that was really, really convenient. Security was pretty easy to get through and just right now we're just kind of sitting in the lounge area after going through security. Um, and it's pretty nice, we're just having some coffee, having some croissants, and we're just gonna try to kill two hours till our flight. Day. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy So one thing I really, really like about Billy Bishop Airport is that it's actually really, really scenic The airport is actually situated right next to Lake Ontario and you can see the entire downtown skyline and you can see the sunrise So I was able to get some really, really nice videos this morning Okay, so for breakfast what we have is we got some ball sacks coffee and we got a croissant. What's really inefficient about this airport though is that there's only one place to get food after you go through security. And for this one particular place, it's I feel so bad for the employee. It's one cashier and the cashier also has to make all the coffee for the people. And so there's a huge line and I think the line for the food was actually longer than the line to get through security. So Billy Bishop, hire some more people. All right, so here's the croissant. Super fancy. So many almonds. So this is not fresh. It's a little stale. Actually, it's really stale. It's really stale. <laughs> it's like it's been sitting on the table for like three days. Timmy's has better croissants than this. Day. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, hope to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate this Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Okay, we're finally at New York International Airport. The flight was actually really good, really smooth. Only an hour and a half to get from Toronto to New York. And yeah, went through security with no problems. And now we just have to find, I think it's like a subway that takes us directly into Manhattan, and then we're gonna find our hotel. So I think it'll probably take about an hour to an hour and a half on the subway to get into the city. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me So our plane landed in Terminal B in the airport and then we ended up taking the uh, air train, which is pretty much like a monorail train that circles around the airport that allows you to go from different terminals. And so we took that, went to the terminal with the train station, and then from there bought a ticket on the train to go to New York City. So it's around 11.51 right now. I'm extremely hungry. I'm also a little bit tired just because I've been up since 5 a.m. And so the plan is that as we're walking to the hotel, because our check-in isn't until around 2 p.m., we're gonna stop at a couple of food spots that are actually along the way, and we're really excited about that. One, living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. 
Hey guys, we are finally in New York. I am so excited. We got out of Penn Station. It's actually right where Madison Square Garden is. And right now we are just walking along 8th Avenue to go to Joe's Pizza. Joe's Pizza, I've heard a lot of good things about on a bunch of YouTube videos. And it's actually on our way to the hotel. So we're gonna go grab a slice just cause it's around lunch and then hopefully we can check in after we have our lunch. One. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah. All right, so right now we are at Joe's Pizza. And I got my pepperoni slice right here. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. I love the thin crust. Fold it up. Hey guys, as you can see, we are in our hotel. We checked in around 1 p.m. and so we still have a bunch of hours left in the day to explore New York City. I am gonna post about the hotel that we're staying at in a future video, and I can't wait to share with you guys what we're gonna do here in New York City. With that being said, if you wanna see more of my New York City adventure, then please subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button. I'm really excited for the next few days, and hopefully you guys are excited as well. I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.